Hello, 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 and happy Friday Eve to each and every one of you Sagittarius. Let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Yes, we are coming up on the on April 1st, and it is a new moon in Aries. So I see it. I know a lot of people are getting fired up about the goals that they set. So let's see what, what these cards have to say for you. This is just going to be a preview into what your April is going to look like. It's going to be a more of extended reading on Sunday. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Sagittarius, my archers. Let's go and see what these cards have to say. Yes. Somebody may be feeling like they are just exhausted, their energy is exhausted and drained, and that's because you're going through transformation. Very nice. Somebody's trying to pull on your energy. I can see that already. See it now. Mm -mm -mm. Here we have the Knight of Swords. We also have the Page of Cups. We have the Hangman. Very nice. We have the Ace of Cups. The Queen of Cups. And the Tower card, yes. Somebody is going through a really, really life-changing experience. And this is what I want you to do. This is an adjustment for somebody, right? Again, only take what resonates with you. All of these are emotions. Somebody is going, somebody that you were, somebody that you love deeply. See these hands together, this heart, let me see if I can pull away a little bit. This heart right here, somebody that you love deeply is really going through a tower moment right now. Like everything, they, the things are just not going well for them at all. And it could be a pull on your energy. So if you happen to be thinking about somebody that you never plan on allowing back into your life, not because you're bitter and angry, just because they were holding, you were holding space for a person that was just didn't have your best interest, Get as far away from that energy as humanly possible. That's what I'm seeing. Knight of Swords. Somebody elbows up, shoe, bottom of your shoes up, racing as far away from them as humanly possible because things are not going well in their life. But guess what, Sagittarius? It's because they created their own karma, right? This is what you're protecting. You're protecting your big heart. So I do see somebody surrendering to their highest self saying, you know what? I need to protect my heart this time. I don't care what they're going through. And it's not like I'm being cruel or cold or even mean. I don't have any, I don't have any malicious feelings in my body towards them. But this is where you're going to let this energy or energies, it could be several people, really going through some horrific times right now. Because things are, it's actually for their good. Just so, just so we're all clear, okay, Sagittarius, it really, really is for their good. So you're not, I always say this in all of my readings, we as human beings, divine spirits that are having a human experience are not other people's gods. This person or these people actually created their own karma. Karma is not good or bad. It just is. But they are going through it right now. And this is where you want to just say, you know what? I, I just, hands off. Hands off. Let me, I'm not calling them to find out how they're doing. I'm not checking on them. Nothing. And I don't care who it is. You're going to have to let them go through their karma because they're used to you adjusting to the drama that they created. They are used to it. They're used to you coming to the rescue. Da, da, da. Here comes Sagittarius to save the day. Not anymore. Not anymore. They're going to have to learn how to save themselves. So this is a, um, and so here's the thing. I know that it looks like, you know, it looks like somebody is kind of grappling with the fact that you're not racing to somebody's aid. And like I said, while it may seem harsh and cold, it really isn't because, again, we're not other people's gods. This is why you're going to have to be patient with this part of yourself, your own growth, and not racing to people's aid. You guys are smart. You're caring. You're deep thinkers. You're honest, loves to have fun, you know, great sense of humor, idealist. You all are generous. But these energies that are trying to come back into your space, they were responsible for causing you to be impatient, careless, boastful, attention-seeking, and brutally honest. So if you happen to hear about somebody really going through a rough time and everything being torn, it's like, oh, nothing is going right in my life. Like I said, hands off. Just, just you know, send them good energy via telepathy and then change the channel. If you feel like you need to do something, because you all are givers by default, so if you feel like you need to take action, send it through via telepathy, and that's it. And then change the channel, get up and dance around the house, listen to some music, anything that's going to change that channel from you sitting there overthinking, because that's giving also, overthinking the situation. They put themselves in that situation. Here we have, I am grace, I am centered, I am clear in my mind, I expect the best. That's right. The fruit of surrender is patient grace. I love it, love it, love it. Yes, the fruit of grace, the fruit of surrender is patient grace. Let's keep it moving. 
let's keep it moving let's keep it moving forward let's keep it moving forward yes let's keep it moving forward look to the stars so what what you all want to do you know if you feel like it Sagittarius this is just a suggestion of course I wouldn't tell you what to do but suggestion download a moon a moon calendar they're free I don't, I don't know what kind of phones you guys have but you can look up in your app section and see if you can download a moon calendar so that you'll know what phase the moon is in that's why I incorporate moon phases in my readings because moon is aligned to our feelings subconscious habits our intuition feelings and in, um, in our moods right and so somebody is not in a good mood right now because things are just going haywire in their lives right now and i don't want you to get caught up in somebody else's karmic cycle because again you're a giver you're used to adapting to things you want to go race to somebody's you know aid with a super superman or superwoman cape on and try to help them out of a situation that they put themselves in so adjustments are required that's what I'm saying. Be patient with yourselves. Please, 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 Sagittarius, this is not the time for you to beat yourselves up. Oh, I wish I could be there to help this person, and that's horrible that they're going through this. Again, send them good vibrations through the universe. But please, the, some adjustments are required. Because we are still, as of right now, um last quarter moon energy in Capricorn and so somebody somebody has been somebody has some some goals and somebody has a duty and responsibility to themselves I see somebody being in a very mature space wanting to just take the high road and to keep it classy and all of that but I'm telling you somebody just needs to let somebody else go through what they're going through because the universe is a better teacher than we can ever be you know god and the universe are better teachers than we can ever be so this is what i'm this is what i have for you sagittarius like i said pr please protect your energy you're in a very vulnerable space right now and so you're divinely protected so none of the debris the things falling down around them are going to hit you you're very protected protected but i don't want you to put you throw yourself into a karmic cycle remember we are creatures of free will so i don't want you to will yourself into somebody else's karmic cycle that they created because guess what they wouldn't be able to save you out of their karmic cycle anyway it's like you know misery loves company and things are going well for you just stay focused get as far away from that as possible okay that's what i have for you sagittarius you take care of yourself and i'll see you on sunday for more extended okay bye